Welcome back. I hope you have enjoyed preparing your templates and that you find it as relaxing as I find. Um, because I really enjoyed making this one. It was very relaxing because when I am coloring and preparing, um, yeah, my, my head becomes empty and I'm not thinking about anything at all and I really find it very, very, very relaxing. I hope it goes the same for you. Leave a comment if it does. And if it doesn't, um, what's your favorite part? of the flower. Is it the coloring or is it the construction? I think it's a construction obviously because well you get to see the flowers come alive, right? So anyways so we will start with um six I think there were sixteen. I'm not sure I could be mistaken. Just count what you have, okay? Two four six eight ten 12, 14, 16. Could be 16 or 17, it means I have one more left. I am again not sure. Just ignore if you have more or less, or even less, then please just, just, just do that. Just gonna create a, a bundle of small leaves, Joy, and if the inside, the inner part, should be facing well, inside. Duh. So you might have to turn them before we attach. Okay. I'm gonna get brown floral tape. I'm gonna attach them all together nice and tight. I'm gonna mark this as Although it's quite simple, I'm just going to do it, mark it as medium, experience acquired, because it is kind of time consuming, right? Too much for beginners. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is, you can see, I'm just going to reposition all the leaves facing, spinning them, turning them if necessary, and pushing them downwards as well. Because I want the inside facing inside. What do you mean with inside facing inside? Uh, this side needs to be inside. This is now nice and tight. So I can push, to turn, twist and turn the leaves inside and push them down as well as much as I can because some of them are very high so we have to push them down as much as possible so once you've done that get a couple of, uh, couple of times Nice and tight, all the way there, bam, 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 bam. I'm spinning the floral wires there. It should be fine, and I'm gonna cut it off. So this is secured. There. I'm just gonna leave, push them more down. As you can see, I'm pushing it down. So I don't see the wires as much as possible. I think it's possible for everything, but as much as you possibly can. There. Kind of a pineapple, right? Okay. So I've already prepared this. I didn't attach the leaf yet because I still have one left, which I'm going to squeeze in somewhere, but I'll do that off camera. It is going to be the same as with sketching paper, so that shouldn't be a problem. So we have seven flowers. We've all bent them, right? And we use our this the the bow at the tip of the arch. Hold this, we're gonna make that straight. 
And the reason why we, was we have to attach it. But that's okay because at least they are shaped and we can bend them again later. We're not going to bend the flower. We're going to bend the end, the tail, okay? The, the wire. So don't do this, but this here at the back. This will make our lives a bit easier when attaching all the flowers one by one. Again, brown floral tapes start at the top. And we're just going to attach them one by one. So remember the part. So how are we going to attach? So this is like one centimeter, probably one and a half. Like the tip of the arch is here. Measure this piece and apply it to the bottom part. So it's going to be like that. It's probably an inch, two and a half centimeters. Okay. And that's how we're going to attach it there. An inch. And when attaching one, you make a complete round before attaching the next. Do that on this side, on the other side. Just make a full round. And now you see why we had to lift it because, or else we weren't able to. them don't do it too close because don't forget I only have one two three four five six mm -hmm. I am missing one I thought I have seven. Did I? Am I missing one? Did I accidentally put one here? Hold on, guys. Oh, yes, I did. <gasps> this is the sketching paper. Okay, well, then we'll use this for here. That's okay. Then fill the gaps. Look. And then when the flower takes out, you can always cut a new one. Longer this time because I'm gonna cover up the It's just attaching the flower petals. Don't worry about the positioning. We can always rearrange it later on. The important thing is that they are attached now, one by one. And it is messy, you see? But actually all very natural looking. Because who says that we can't go like this? Again, I'm just gonna secure it all the way down. And with all these wires combined, we are creating a thick stem. You see? And we're using this is to replace the straw that we used to use. There. Now I'm gonna get my bent nose ply or the wires really long. And I'm gonna bend. Some can be lower, overlapping the other, right? Lower than some can higher than the other one. There you go. Have a look. You can still move the flowers if you want and have it the way you would like to. You can do it a bit up, you can do it down. 
and there you go. And now for the leaves on top, we are pushing the outer leaves. Just gonna create a more open because you know this one is turned, so we still have to turn that one. And this is why we have to position leaves. There you go. It's gonna be a bit fluffy. There, I'm gonna get our bamboo skewer. There, use the tip of it. We're just gonna curl some of the outer petals, or leaves actually, give it more shape. Okay, now we're going back to the leaves and our glue gun. And we're gonna attach the leaves. You could do wires, but I, I like I assumed that it's going to be a problem. Actually, it's not. You can do this. There are two ways, with or without. I think with is much more stable, uh, stable. I'm not sure. We'll see. The leaves can go up has gone a bit high. Do you see that? Like half or that high. It still goes backwards, right? So we're gonna get floral tape first. Oh, position, find the position of the leaves first, obviously. There, once you have marked that, mark it with your floral tape there. Attach it a couple of times. And you have it, you can get let go. Attach. Mm. My glue gun isn't high hot. Okay, let's heat it up first. Let's try if we do this. When we're doing wire, we have to wrap the entire thing around it and just cover up the part. See? Still the same, so we don't I don't think we need floral wires for that. I just need my inspiration photo to see how they did the leaves. Come on, please. Hmm. Okay. Sorry about that. I to refresh my memory. There's gonna be a lot of leaves. So that's with wire. You could do it. It's kind of easy actually. You could also do it with glue gun. If you don't want wires. I'm just gonna need, I don't know how many we need, just gonna attach. Glue with glue gun. Roll it a couple of times. One time, not couple, just one time, or it's gonna end up with a thick layer of one, two. Then we're gonna add six. Oh, I should have done that on the leaves. Cover. See how much I am covering with floral tape? Or are the leaves actually? I mean. So that's three, one, two, three, right? One, two, three, and we can do seven. So we have enough anyways. And I'm just gonna add oh chips. Leaves in between the previous ones. And I think if you're using wire, you don't need glue gun. 
And when you don't using white, when you're not using white, or you will need blue gun. So that's one. So that's that's the difference. So I don't know what you think is easier. I'll leave that to you. But both is possible. Um, the leaves, I can, I don't know, I can keep it, might need it for s in the future, I'm not sure, um, we'll see. It's, leaves are quite basic, could use it for a lily, although they are very small, but we have those tiger lilies, maybe that's then good moment to read them. So, touching that, cover it up nice and tight. Six leaves, let it dry, don't cover it up nicely, my friends. Let it dry, we're not going to bend it first. We really want the glue to dry before we're pulling back the leaves. Now, just going to be about an inch before a space before we attach the next layers. This time we'll just do how much we should do two or three. Let's divide them. Oh chips, everything's falling down. Ah hold on, I need to pick that up or else I'm short. One, two, three, one, two, three, six, one, five. So we can do three layers. Okay, so what we do to three, and then we do two, and then six. We could do that. Let's do that. Then we have more leaves. So first we're gonna do two. First, we have to cover up the wires the, with floral tape and cut a new one. Sorry if I'm off screen. I'm so sorry. Guys, it's really hard to show. I can't watch what I'm doing and then be on screen sometimes. It's really hard. Please forgive me. If it happens sometimes. Like an inch. Two and a half centimeters. There you go. Touch floral tape. Touch leaf. Just two. Here. Wrap it. And instead of doing it on the opposite side, we're just gonna do two of them. You can change it up on one side. And cover it up with floral tape. My big fingers become so sticky. Nice and tight. This is not nice and tight. Again, two centimeter and then three. I hope I'm off the screen. Okay, I'm gonna do this one on screen. I'll just have a look. So we have this two here. Hold when you're folding it, hold it there. Where where we have don't do it, don't push it too hard though. So we have it on this two on this side. Now we're gonna do the three on the other side, on the opposite side. Also, around one inch.
one, two, three. A unity. One inch, two and a half centimeter. And then we're just gonna do the same as we did for the last remaining six. Let's actually do it lower. Yeah. Okay, guys. This is why I also say, watch the tutorial first, because I think it's you need. We need more space. We should do two two inch in between. Also, just short of leaves. Yeah, but that's okay. We can do that here. How many centimeters is this? Five, seven, seven centimeter from the point that we attach them, right? Not completely the floral tape, but there. Five. It was five. Yeah, I think that's fine. Five. Yeah, two inch. We should have two inch apart. One inch. Oh well. I can do that. One and a half. Again, forget to cover this up with wire. Ugh. Okay. It is late. It is. Yeah, it's 5 p.m. I've been filming for five hours now. <laughs> with breaks in between. But, yeah. Started like 12 p.m. been five hours. And the reason why we need this space is because we need to insert it still, right? Into um, the thing. In a vase. In a planter. I might do a planter. I'm doing the planters lately, ain't I? But in the week, flower for week two is just a single flower. We're gonna make the crazy daisy. One, two, three. I hope. <laughs> I hope it will work. If not, I have a backup for the crazy daisy. I hope you can forgive me. But I think I think it will work. We shall see. One, two, three. And hold it. I'm gonna put it gently back because we need to know where to add the leaves in between, right? And there they are. I feel like I can do five, please do five instead of six. Then I'll start with two and then three. Then, I mean, then start with two, three, you know, that's fine too. Oh, my floral tape, it's still old. It was kind of, you get schooled here. In the attic and moist in the winter. I got it's just fully renovated. Oops, because we had some molds because of that. Just bad ice isolation. 
and all this part, this bit will disappear in the planter. You can do it lower if you're like, that's a lot of planter. You can still do it a bit lower. And this should be, you should have a bit more in a planter because, so my battery was empty. So I have to change, see? The thing I had charged, charged a few, right? Okay, so I, that was it, my friends. Just letting it dry and just putting it back again. Consider joining us on Facebook. Follow me here on YouTube. When sharing in Facebook groups that you are in, just one day people ask where you have it, just mention the file name and that it's from Etsy. You don't have to mention my brand. That alone is enough. Thank you so, so, so much. And then gently pull them back. Gently. And that's the tricky part because without wires, they get, they tend to, you tend to break the fiber. And in the end, they'll get very, um, yeah, fragile. Just bend all the leaves back. I might make the leaves a bit shorter than mine. So that, then you know, I think I find them a bit too long. But yeah, they should be shorter. I, I find mine is long, but I find them a bit too long, so I'm just gonna make them shorter, okay? So if you're like, your mine is shorter, yeah, that's correct because they're too long, way too long. And you'll be like, yeah, but I like yours, then <laughs> make them longer. But in real life, they are shorter, my friends, so yeah, these are a bit too long. But that's okay, I already have it, and not gonna try it. So we have here, ah, I'm not sure, we have a vase. You can place them in just like that if you want. Very decorative, right? Or you can put it in a planter if you would like. I'll leave that up to you. In a planter where you have foam, and then the foam, floral foam, and then filled with, um, with a stick of sand or stone, whatever you want to call it. So my friends, that was it. I hope you enjoyed making this flower with me. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and my new creation. Looking forward to seeing it anywhere, anywhere, Facebook, Instagram, Etsy. And if you've got this on Etsy, please consider heading back to my Etsy store and leaving a review. I really would appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And this one flower was recommended by, or suggested by um, uh, Nanda. I already had this on my to-do list, but well, it's here. So again, thank you so much, and I will see you next week. Have fun. Good luck. Oops, very heavy. Ciao.